Welcome to another Bleistift video and today I want to show you this fountain pen I bought. It came in this metal tin uh, with uh, this cloth and this bag. It's uh, Funmo branded and it has, let's open the bag first, it has a spring loading mechanism similar to the Twispy Go. So you dip it in the ink pot, let go, fills with um, ink, and here's the front, and I bought it because I thought this color combination looks really happy. It has a nib that says Iridium Point Germany, but uh, as I mentioned in blog posts in the past, that doesn't mean much, uh, that certainly doesn't mean that the pen is from Germany. Um, before I want to use the pen, I want to clean it first, then sit with water. But I thought before I do that, I'll show you the pen. It doesn't have a clip, which might be a deal breaker for some. Uh, the reason I bought it was really that it looks so nice. I paid a bit more than £25, pounds, but... That was because the seller was in, in the UK. I saw now that um, you you can get it quite a bit cheaper if you order directly from China. It looks very good. I'm not sure what to think about the overall look. I mean, I, the, I like the colors. I like the pattern. It looks happy. looks nice. Not sure about this, this balance here. With, with the end bits and the middle is clear. Um, but yeah, um, it might look interesting when it's filled with ink and the colors certainly look happy. You can't post the pen. Uh, not, a, not a deal breaker for me because I normally never post pens. Okay, I'll get it cleaned and then I'll fill it with some ink. Until later. Okay, I'm back and I've cleaned the the pen now. It's um, quite a bit later, uh, many days later. And one thing I noticed when I cleaned the pen was that actually the front cap and the cap here for that mechanism, they have similar dimensions. This that is more or less in the same place, so they are actually reversible. So this was the bit at the end before. This is the bit at the front. So yeah, you could swap it around if you wanted to. I'll keep the original arrangement. And again, even um, something I mentioned before, I'm not sure about the look when the whole thing is closed. Yeah, uh, what's this supposed to be? Not sure, but I like the the colors and the patterns. Looks quite happy. So I think in this state it is, it is good looking. Let's try it out now. So Chinese pen. I thought I get some Italian paper, and some English ink, made not too far from me, uh, near Liverpool. I wasn't sure should I use uh, my Bilberry ink or my Twilight ink, but I do want to use a. Uh, a blue ink so I'm gonna use twilight okay so let's have a look how it writes I don't want to make the pen too full just because I have a few other pens inked Look, I'm just slowly getting letting go of the the spring loaded mechanism. Okay, I think this is enough. I don't want to make it too full. No. Just because I have a few other uh, pens inked as well. So otherwise the 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 whole thing gets too too old. You know, the the ink in the pen and some some pens they they lose a bit over time. So I don't know how 
how much will evaporate in this pen. So I want to try it out first. Also, you know, I have a fine, fairly fine nib. So using up the ink usually takes a long time, especially these days where you don't have to write so much at work anymore. And especially these weeks, you know, where we are working from home and everything is basically done electronically and there's hardly any chance um, to write things down for colleagues or, or to, to do any, any, any work on paper, you know, while, while we all have to work from home. In case you watch this video in the future, obviously referring to the 2020 situation with the coronavirus. Okay. Yeah. Easy to see the level of of ink. Um, nice and wet. But this could also be because I just refilled the pen. Let's try whether the nib is springy. Oh yeah, yeah. No? Well, this is quite disappointing. How come? I just filled it. There should certainly be enough ink in the feet. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, let's try to push a bit to get a bit more ink onto the feet. Hmm. Well, this is uh, quite disappointing. I cleaned the pen. In case there was any oil residue, but somehow there's no no nothing coming from the feet. <clears throat> Let's try it again. Very strange. Not sure what's going on. I'll try to revive the pen somehow. I hope I'll get it to work. But uh, yeah, this is not a, a good sign at the moment. Hello, I'm back. Um, well, by now I found out that this part can be unscrewed, but that didn't help much. You know, the, the grip section can be unscrewed. What I did next was I put some drops of ink here. I let it touch the nib and I was hoping that this will set up, will start to get some capillary action going. That will start drawing the ink onto the nib because I, I assume what happened was that um, the ink went in through the filler hole and even though the whole nib was submerged in ink, this capillary action that is actually drawing the ink out of the reservoir didn't get going. So some initial tests seem to show that this is working. So I'll just continue and if the pen stops, yeah, that's a bad sign. Uh, but what I was just about to do was check whether, um, whether the nip is springy. And it is, it is quite stiff. There's some sort of variation yeah, light and hard, but there's not much, yeah, certainly not much compared to some other pens. It is fairly fine, I mean, here's a Carveco Extra Fine, that's really fine, yeah, which is um, much slimmer. Here is, well, officially this is a Pelican Fine. In the LAT, this this is like you know M to B. You know, I mean, I've I've always used uh, German fountain pens in school, but 
Yeah. I don't know, we can call this a F. Yeah, this is a massive line. So, I mean, normal, normal um, nips, also this being a steel nip, uh, normal steel nips are more springy than, than the one I got here, which is labeled yeah, the Dium Point Germany, yeah, which which doesn't mean much, doesn't mean it's from Germany, doesn't mean it has iridium, obviously, compared to some very yeah, extreme pens like here, the the Falcon. Yeah. There's there's not much line variation at all, but it is it is not unpleasant it is not scratchy yeah. i paid too much for it i think i paid around 25 pounds something like that and i think i could have gotten it for 15 pounds so well if you if if you like the look and i'm still i, I think it's beautiful in the same time i think it's a bit strange looking Certainly would look better without the brand printed here. Um, but if if you like the look, well, it's not bad. And I don't have a twisty go, so this is my first spring loaded piston filler. Okay. I assume this will end up being a blog post at some stage down the line. At that time, I can report back. But I hope me dripping some ink on a sheet of paper and then getting, getting it onto the slit of the nib. I I think this, is, this got the pen going. But like I said, I'm surprised that the whole pen having been dunk into my ink pot after it was actually cleaned first to get rid of any oily residue um, I'm, I'm surprised this was necessary but it seems to work for now okay thank you very much for watching and until next time bye